Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know of my swordsman or longsword slash katana build uh, for Monster Hunter World. Now I've got about 120 hours in the game. I have completed for the most part all of the optional quests that I'm pretty sure I can do. Um, if you would just like to see. I don't know what the last one is for here. I don't even know if it's out right now. Uh, I've got majority of the mantles as well. And today I'm going to give you guys pretty much a full-on guide. So I'm currently playing with a controller on PC. It doesn't really matter what you play with. Uh, I find the controller to be a little bit better for the radical menu, although I really don't like the radical menu. But I'm going to go ahead and show you my current gear. Now this is kind of like a beginner setup. Um, this setup that I'm going to show you is not literally for like the beginning of the game, but I mean like it's very friendly. Uh, you can mess around with it quite a bit. So the first thing we're going to do is go over the equipment. So all the equipment I'm using is like basically after you finish the storyline. They're from Elder Dragons. Um, but you can easily pretty much just use whatever you want until then. Like getting Valhazak gear is really not difficult. Like let's be completely honest. The reason why I decided to choose the Valhazak gear uh, over other gear is because the Valhazak gear gives you the set bonus for super recovery. Uh, super recovery allows your recovery to exceed the red portion of the health gauge. Now, the reason why this is important is because Valhazak also gives you uh, something called peak performance. I personally don't use attack 4 in my build. I use peak performance, which gives us 20 attack, which is equivalent to an attack 7 jewel, uh, except you don't get the affinity. So that's what we're using. Also, the Valhazak chest piece gives you, I don't know if it's, it's this one here, it gives you recovery speed which is really, really, really good, and you'll see why very shortly. Um, anyway, so with what we have right now for our skills, you can see on the right, I've got Handicraft 5, Health Boost 3, Peak Performance 3, Attack Boost 2, Recovery Up, Recovery Speed, Weakness Exploit, Divine Blessing, Non-Elemental Boost, uh, and then I think that's, that's pretty much it. So things I'll be doing in the future is I'm going to be removing Handicraft to get it to level 3, because level 3 Handicraft still gives White Sharpness, and we'll be removing the, or we'll be gaining weakness exploit level 3, which is really important because our damage is not that good right now. It's mainly for survivability. The thing is, though, is before I can change out to what I was talking about, I'll show you what I'm going to do with decorations. Uh, I'm using an elementalist jewel with a divine slasher. Divine slasher is most likely the best weapon you can get. If you don't want to use a divine slasher or you can't get a divine slasher, you're looking for a weapon with high physical damage so you can socket in an elementalist jewel. The Elementalist Jewel adds quite a bit of damage. If you look at my attack, can I see the attack of the weapon? It's 693. If I remove it, oh, oh, here we go. 713, where's Elementalist Jewel? Where did you go? Here we go. 713 goes to 782. And Divine Slasher just so happens to have the slot open to give itself an Elementalist Jewel. So uh, I'm using Dragon King Eye Patch uh, because it gives level two weakness exploit, which means we only need to find one weakness exploit decoration. Um, Leakness exploit is basically crit when you are hitting a weak spot, which is what your goal is. I ended up finding a flawless gem, which is peak performance, which one level of this, because we have Valhazak, gives us plus 10 attack. So we're using this. Um, I've got two medicine jewels. Actually, yeah, I've got two medicine jewels in um, because the recovery increases the amount of health recovered, which I do believe interacts in some type of way with your health regen, um, slash the recovery you get from Valhazak and something that you will be aiming for far later into the game, which is the health regen augment, which helps keep you topped off for your flawless, or sorry, your uh, peak performance. Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome so, home. So moving on, uh, the Valhazak braces are also a really good option because they have three sockets open. So not only do they have peak performance one on them, they also give me 50 HP because of my vitality jewels. Now remember, if you don't have these jewels, none of them are really too difficult. Like the, these basically here, well, except for the two attacks, which you're not going to need, but they're not too difficult to acquire. You can honestly use whatever you want. If you don't want to use the Valhazak set, don't use the Valhazak set until you get your, your actual decorations. You can mix and match however you'd like. I promise it's totally okay. Uh, for the coil, I ended up going with two protection jewels just to be a bit more defensive. And then my death stenches have two attack jewels. Now, these two attack jewels always get swapped out for me. These are basically my filler slots. Uh, if you notice, I don't have good fire resistance. So if I'm fighting like, you know, tempered bagel goose or something, I'll put in, you know, two fire resist jewels. Vice versa, if I'm doing Kirin, I'll put in two thunder resist jewels. Now, the big thing to swap, uh, and then I'm going to go right into the combat for you guys, 
is the, I guess, end game swap that I plan on doing is a bit unique. Um, so let me go over and try to do it or show you guys. Uh, let's go to the workshop. Okay. So if I go to forge armor, there is a chess piece that has, where is it? It's the only chess piece in the game at the moment. Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome home. Like how everybody likes to reset while I'm making my YouTube video. I'll give you guys shout outs after, sorry. Here we go. It's called the Brigade B. Now, the reason why Brigade B is so awesome is because we're gonna lose the two recovery from our Valhazak piece. However, we are going to gain Divine Blessing level three, and then we're gonna socket in Weakness Exploit to get Weakness Exploit level three, and then we're gonna insert the, I believe it's called like Speed Sharpening um, or whatever it's called. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. It's called something along those lines. Um, and that basically allows for you to have um, white sharpness. Like, well, eventually you'll have white sharpness anyway, but what the what the, the decoration does is after you sharpen your weapon, you basically cannot degrade sharpness for like a minute. And that's insanely good. That's super, super good. And then I think I was gonna swap out my death my death boots, or I was gonna swap out my amulet. I don't remember it exactly, but anyway, just just to like theorycraft a little bit for you guys. Also, the set looks pretty nice. Um, protective polish, thank you. That's what it's called. And to farm the divine slasher, you actually have to do the arena, uh, but not the normal arena. You have to go to like the gathering hub area over there and go do it. Okay. So anyway, now that we're done with that, I want to go show you this against like real tempered mobs. Uh, if you guys don't know what tempered mobs are, they come after you finish the storyline. They are the hardest hitting mobs in the game with the exception of the tempered elders, uh, which are, for the most part, really annoying to fight. So let's go ahead and where's the female person at? Hmm. Okay, post the new quest. Let's go to investigations. We're going to go do a tempered Diablos because I hate tempered Diablos, but it's a really good, it's a, it's a good boss to fight. I just, he's... Black Diablos is my most hated boss in the entire game, so I'd rather fight Tempered Karen any day. Okay. Oops. Now, I didn't use Longsword until basically completing majority of the game. I used Double Blades the entire way through for about 85 hours. And then I got bored because I was like, Double Blades don't feel very fun to me anymore. So I ended up swapping to Longsword about... 30 hours ago, not even. So you're going to see some really scuff gameplay here. So I'm going to go ahead and use a Might Seed. It's a damage buff. I'm going to use an Armor Skin. It's a Armor Buff. I'm also going to go ahead and use Demon Drug, which stacks with the Seed. And we're going to use an Addy Seed, which stacks with the Armor Skin. Um, you can see my stats located right over here, 964. We're also going to go ahead and use an Immunizer, which is my favorite potion. It gives you Super Recovery. All right, and let's go ahead and fight. Now, I don't have any Screamer Pods for this either, so this is about to get really fun. I'm going to use a Rock Steady Mantle whenever I engage. Actually, I actually do have Screamer Pods. I'm going to use a Rock Steady Mantle to engage. This is going to make us immune to roars. Very good. It also makes it so we don't get interrupted. Okay. Let's see if we can bait him over here. We're going to use our Flash Fly. Oh, he didn't really care about that. So one, two... I didn't get the counter off properly. So you can see the life leech allows us to keep our peak performance on all the time. As long as we're playing right. I'm gonna go for a counter. I think. Hmm. I'm gonna use this time to repair. Okay, he's going underground. Where's my screamer pods? Oh, 
Oh, I did not think that tail swing was gonna hit me. Okay, so since our rock steady, we gotta counter that. Since our rock steady fell off, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the evasion mantle. Actually, first I'm gonna. First I'm gonna screamer bottom. There we go. Now this is a great time for us to reposition. Here we go. No! Nobody saw that. <laughs> no, nobody saw that. <laughs> okay, he's going underground. Ooh. I couldn't get the screamer pot out fast enough. I can use going underground? Oh, not like this. There we go. He's being a bully right now. He's not very nice. Oh, okay, good. We'll use this time to repair back to white sharpness. That's tail swipe. Underground again. Let's see if we can get a counter. There we go. Counter again. I think a little too early. Oh, nice! We got the evasion mantle, Brock. All right. Evasion mantle puts us to 1,400 damage right now. Uh, I can also go ahead and eat a yummy, yummy might seed. Increases that to 1432. He's doing his tail swipe. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. No! I'm going for it again. <laughs> I just want to land it with all the buffs on. It's so difficult. Okay. Well, he's going to de-aggro, so let's go ahead and just buff up. Where did you go, Mr. Diablos? Are you down here? Very nice. Yes, you are. Let's see if we can counter the roar. Oh, I didn't even roar. Alright, let's counter now. Uh, too early. Or is he going... I don't even know. Those things are very... They're very difficult sometimes to counter, unfortunately. I think I'm just bad. So if you can see, there's like that red portion of the health. That means our immunizer is off. So just as... Well, I'm gonna put it back on because I'm scared of this guy sometimes. He's probably gonna charge here. Good job, buddy. I don't think I got the immunizer off, but it's okay. One, two... Can I get this off? Three. Okay. Let's reposition. There we go. Okay, he is in capture range now, too, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop our shock trap on the floor here. He's gonna hit us, but it's okay. It's okay. He is. Come on, buddy. Double swing. Nice. Drink bomb one, drink bomb two. So I apologize, it was, you know, kind of a messy fight. I'm not very good with the longsword yet. It's pretty much just going over the gear and showing you guys how, uh, how, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Not very punishing the set is. You know, it opens for a lot of opportunity for you to learn the boss fights rather than just dying instantly to them. Uh, I know a lot of people want, like, max deeps and everything, and this is not for you. Uh, although you can do some pretty good damage, don't get me wrong. You just have to be a better player. That's Especially longsword really comes down to that. Okay, what do we get here? Ooh, that's really good. That's come on, baby. Come on, baby. Weakness, exploit. Do it. Do it. Weakness, exploit. What do we get? Steadfast. Oh, quick sheath. That's quick sheath too that we have. Very nice. Uh, a confirm.
Uh, so some some pretty basic combos I could tell you guys um, about the combat just to help you guys out a little bit. Now I'm not an expert longsword player like I was saying before. This is just what I found to be pretty useful to me. Um, I'm going to give you a lot of tips that a lot of people disagree with and that's because I haven't played Monster Hunter on anything else other than Monster Hunter World. I know a lot of people are elitists but I'm going to help explain it to the noobs like myself, right? So some basic combos you can do is uh, I'm using an Xbox controller. If you're on keyboard and mouse just uh, I fuck. Yeah, I don't really know what to say. So here you go. So you can do like Y, Y into Y, A or Y, B. The Y, Y into Y, B what it does is, if you look here, one, two, and then it goes into the side hop. You can choose the side hop left, right, or back if you don't do anything. And that is going to give you enough charge on your bar to execute your full right trigger combo. Also, by using your YB to jump first, you'll actually remove the first slash of it, which is important because I believe it doesn't consume like the resource, which means that if you're going to initiate with like Rocksteady Mantle, Usually you can already have a charge going in and you know do like four plus hundred damage uh, Which is just really really nice some other things to note is like repositioning So like when you use your counter you're automatically gonna attack after but if you use your counter and then try to do your special You can actually use it to position That's something I didn't know for a long time that people were trying to help me with and I finally understood it because Say you're fighting a boss and he's right here and you want to hit his tail, you're going for a tail chop, but you're like, well, I don't want to just, you know, stop my combo, do nothing, walk over and go for his tail. So instead you could fight and in mid combo, you could boom, do this, and then try to aim at the tail. Um, and that's just really good because, you know, the, um, I don't even know what it's called, head sl skull slasher, face puncher, that skill can hit really hard, it's really good for breaks and hitting weak points on it. You're going to be looking at like 500 to 1000 damage depending on your build if you're buffing yourself right you know depending on the temporary buffs it's pretty crazy what it can do um yeah let me see if i can go back and maybe see if there's anything else i can help you guys with i don't really think so though i think that's pretty much about it um, let's see no that's that's pretty much all i can really tell you guys uh like i said i used double blades before this and uh, the reason why I say like it's not hard to get to this point in the game is I used Rathalos gear until high rank and then I used high rank Rathalos gear forever and then I was like well I, I'm i like I'm just gonna make a new character not a new character I'm just gonna try a new weapon because the build I was looking for required marathon runner like jewel and I have I don't know 120 hours in the game and I haven't seen a marathon runner decoration um, so yeah uh, <laughs> but anyway, that's pretty much about it. I hope you guys enjoy the build. I hope you guys enjoy the character. Uh, remember, there's a lot of room with flexibility to play around with your decorations. You can be more offensive on your decorations. You can't really get much more defensive than me, but you could try. Um, and then uh, remember, when you're looking at your weapon, there's different augments you can choose for your weapon. Um, if you guys were watching the Black Diablos or the Tempered Diablos fight, you'll see that uh, we had Leech. Uh, Leech is a weapon augment that you can get. Uh, I can't really show it to you here, but you guys saw on that previous one. You can choose to basically augment with Life Leech. You can choose to augment with 10% crit, which is pretty strong, but Life Leech, man. Life Leech is so good. You can choose to augment with a slot, but it's only a tier 1 slot, which I don't think is very good. You can also choose just raw attack damage, but the thing about raw attack damage is like, it, it's okay, but... I mean, you have an Elementalist Jewel, so it's really, you know, I'm playing a sustained build, so it's pretty much like that. Anyway, though, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll only be playing Monster Hunter for a few more days because I've got some other games to play. Anyway, catch you guys all later. Take it easy, everybody.